Welcome back, my friends. My name is Eric, and this is Rome. And uh, I don't know, maybe like you, I've been playing a lot of Dark Tide lately. And early access, uh, you know, beta as far as, and then the initial launch has been a little bit rough for me. Uh, nothing's been stable for me so far. So you know what? I, I went and I, I talked to uh, to Fernando, my, uh, my trusty servitor skull, and he suggested I go onto the forums and do a little research, and that's what we did. And some people had suggested um, going back through and uh, doing a fresh install on your uh, graphics card drivers, you know, and uh, short of taking a bolt gun to the computer and starting from scratch, I thought that sounded like a really good idea. So I started with just that. Let's go ahead and flip over to the display here. Um, and then we will pull up the NVIDIA experience. I am running an RTX 3060 right now. Um, and we go to our drivers here. And what you want to do to do a fresh install on NVIDIA is you go ahead. Now, I am up to date at the moment. I do normally run studio drivers because of the video rendering and stuff that I do. But I did switch to the game render driver because they did have a Dark Tide specific uh, update that came out to add support for it. So because of all the other problems, I switched over. Uh, it didn't help at all, if I'm honest. Uh, my studio drivers gave me identical results to what I got when I switched over to this, but it is what it is. Um, but a fresh install, if you would like to do that, you come over here, see there's three little dots there. You can pick that, you hit reinstall driver. Uh, in this case, you wanna do custom installation. Uh, and there's gonna be a little bit of a wait here. It's gonna ask if you want to, uh, if it can update settings, you'll say yes. And we'll be back when it's ready to go on. All right, it took about a minute, but now that is back up with the next step. And you can see that there is a little check mark here, perform a clean installation. So what you want to do is you want to click that and hit install, and then it, you'll uh, it's going to get rid of everything. You're going to have to do a restart after that's done to bring your computer back up. Um, and that will wipe out all of the old stuff from NVIDIA on their old graphics drivers, um, any remnants of settings, stuff out of the registration that's no longer good, whatever else it needs to be. Clean sweep, get rid of it all, and move on. So that fixed potentially part of my problem. However, within the last couple months, I ran an AMD Radeon graphics card. Um, it's actually a little bit better than my 3060 for gaming, if I'm honest. Um, however, uh, it's significantly worse for rendering codecs. And as such, uh, I bought it during the, the graphics crunch, right? It was the only one I could find, and I paid way too much money for it. Um, not as much as some. I, I waited till it came back down to about $700 instead of, uh, you know, at one point my old... Uh, RTX 1060 was running for uh, about $800 used online. So I didn't quite go that bad, but I did pay $700 for my Radeon. Um, however, it's worse for codex uh, rendering. And so once the crunch was over and I could get my hands on NVIDIA, uh, I went that. I probably will try uh, an Intel in a rendering rig at some point for their new uh, AV1, I think is what it's called, encoding codec once it starts to actually be implemented and stuff. But for now, we're gaming on this. We need to get rid of all of the old stuff that we had for the AMD. Now, why that would cause problems, I don't know, but uh, potentially it does. Um, I haven't had problems with graphics and anything else uh, that I use my GPU significantly for, whether it be gaming, rendering, whatever. Uh, the only thing I was having problems with is Dark Tide. So ultimately, uh, this is sloppy code of some sort within, within the game itself. Um, but regardless, if we can fix it here and move on with our lives, perfect. So um, I went online and I found Display Driver uh, here. Um, I discovered that this app existed, oh, I don't know, within the last couple of weeks, honestly. It might have been on Linus Tech Tips, but I, tech tips, but I don't remember for sure. Um, so I found it here on Graphics Card Hub. Um, Oshkot Varm Verma here uh, posted this. Verma? Not sure. Um, Excellent, got some good instructions and some good drive, uh, uh, has good directions, there we go. Uh, it does recommend that when you run this, you do run this in safe mode, um, and he recommends it as well. I also recommend it, although I didn't do it, so you know, do as I say, not as I do. Um, anyway, so he gives good directions here if you would like to read them, and has a link down here. That link actually takes you to this page, the Guru of 3D, where you can actually get the drive, the app itself. Now, there are threads over here for AMD and NVIDIA to walk you through stuff, to give you some better directions. So I recommend you go directly to the source for that, 
rather than listen to me. Um, I think that's your best bet to get specific stuff. So uh, you come down here and it gives you again some basic directions on what types of things you might want to do and gives you a couple of download mirrors. I got mine from the West Coast. And once you do that, then once you've unzipped it, uh, you unzip an installer and then you run the installer and it will put it wherever. Uh, and then you can give it a go. This is what it looks like when you open it up. So in my case, I want to deal with a GPU and I want to deal with AMD. So I can get rid of all the old AMD Radeon stuff I had when I was running AMD. Uh, once you have your, your device selected, um, you have a couple options. You always have update display driver here, so you can always get a fresh update there if you don't run NVIDIA Experience or whatever like that, GeForce Experience. You could get your, your updated drivers through here for whatever you happen to be running as well. Um, I didn't do that because I do run the, the GeForce Experience. Now, um, up here for me, uh, I did a clean and restart, and uh, that worked really well for me. Um, it's going to do a save point on your registration. It's going to clean up your registration. It's going to delete any old driver files. It's going to delete any old remnants of whatever else and reset any settings that are in the back end that are no longer relevant. Um, it's going to take a little bit of time. And again, like I said, it's going to do a restart at the end. And um, that's that. It's, it's pretty painless. Um, there are a number of settings here, uh, and it will pull this up the first time you actually load the deal, so you can kind of say what you want to do. So I obviously ran AMD, so I removed the CMD drive folders. Um, I did not <coughs> uh, remove this drive filter um, here. I do still run an AMD uh, uh, Ryzen 7 CPU, and so I wasn't... I mean, I wasn't, because of this warning here for the AMD chipset, I skipped that. Uh, but I did the rest of these here. Audio bus, I wasn't worried about. I wasn't having audio problems. Um, probably wouldn't have hurt to click it on, but it is what it is. Um, and so this is kind of how my settings were when I ran. But again, I just did an AMD cleanup. So when it was all done, I clicked clean and restart. I let it go. Um, I went from serious problems. So throughout beta, um, Day one, I had about a crash permission, was able to connect to that in problems. Uh, and then I had a morning with no crashes, a couple hours of playtime with zero crashes. And that very same evening, I ended up having two, three, four crashes a mission. Uh, and that kind of kept throughout the rest of the early access beta. Nothing really changed there. Day one of launch, uh, I had one crash, but then I was unable to get back into the mission. It wouldn't reconnect at all. Um, it would always replace me with somebody else. Now, uh, according to the patch notes, at the end of day one, uh, there was a patch release that said that there were permissions problems on the server side that were causing the reconnect problems. Now, why those got touched between beta and there, why they don't know what their server settings should be after running Vermintide 1 and Vermintide 2, which is essentially the exact same game in fantasy versus sci-fi, I have no idea. It doesn't make any sense to me, but it is what it is. Um, however, they patched that at the end of day one. So day two, I started out and it was the worst I've ever had for crashes. It crashed consistently. I could not get any playtime in. I would crash out, I would load in, I would run down an empty hallway and the game would crash on me again. I'd load in, I'd walk across the room and it would crash. Literally, I couldn't play for more than two minutes at a time without crashes. So clearly I wasn't gonna be able to play the game that way. Um, this seems to have fixed it. I don't know which one had the better effect. I did both of them. I just did shotgun effect, replace everything and move on with my life. I know that's not the world's best troubleshooting. You should do one, see how it affects it, do another, see how it affects it. But you know what? Um, I was desperate. I just wanted to play the game. Uh, so I couldn't tell you which one did it, but I played for probably about six hours so far um, after those changes and I've had zero crashes. Um, Still a few bugs. Um, my helmet disappears in game on a regular basis and then all of my helmet options disappear. Um, they're, sti they're strictly cosmetic though, so it doesn't matter. Um, I'm sure there's some other things that I haven't noticed, but realistically, this seems to have fixed my issues. I'm getting pretty good uh, frame rate. I happen to be playing uh, at, on, at 2K, um, so 1440p um, on the graphics and uh, you know I'm running 60 to 80 frames per second, generally speaking, depending on what's happened on the screen. So um, those are what I did. Clean install on my primary graphics card driver and a cleanup to get rid of the old stuff. So hope that helps. I uh, hope you guys are having a great time playing Dark Tide. If you are, in fact, playing it, uh, if you want to co-op, you know, send me a message. Uh, I'm Mellow7, all spelled out, M-E-L-L-O-W-S-E-V-E-N 
on uh, Steam, and uh, I have a Discord link down below in all of my videos. Uh, so you can always find me there if you're if you forget or you can't find me one way or the other, and we can we can hook you up. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Cheers.